So, Darville's players gathering to watch the quarter-final draw at around 5.30, and the groundsman busy as well, because the winners of tonight's game face Celtic or Rangers in the next round, perhaps. Let's cross live to Darville now and speak with our Scotland reporter, Tony Maguire, uh, who is there with all the preparations for a very important day, Tony. Hello, yes, welcome to sunny Ayrshire. Um, and I am here at Darvel FC Grounds. Um, I'm joined today by Jordan Gibson, who is a, a volunteer here at Darvel FC. A lot of, of the players and the, the management of the club, because it's just a junior club, you know, they all have other jobs and other responsibilities. Jordan here is born and raised in Darvel, is that right? Yes. Yeah, I'm from Darvel, yeah, originally. Um, I went to school in Darvel. Um, most of my family's for Darvel, so they are, so... Yeah, <laughs> and tell me, tell me about what what does a a match like of this magnitude? I mean, Falkirk aren't exactly kind of top of the SPFL, but they're a big side, much bigger than yeah. Darvel's used to facing. What does this kind of thing do for the local community? Oh, it just brings everybody together. So it does. It's crazy what help we've had for the community and just involvement with the school and the just like the, the shops up in the street decorating their windows for the game and it, it's just crazy. So it is, and there's a wee hub called the Verve, they've all been involved um, coming down after games in Litter Picks have done a Makaton song just getting everybody involved and really supporting supporting the team so it's good it's been outstanding the support that they've had. And there's been a lot of outreach, like charity work as well with the local, you know, the, um, I saw some donations boxes in, in the pie shop behind me, tell me about that. We've got one out just now for the food bank and just at Christmas there we've done a, collect a toy appeal collection and a lot of the players brought in bags of toys for kids at Christmas so, and it was amazing we raised over 1,500 individual toys for kids at Christmas so it was really amazing to have the team do that so it was, no, it was really good and again, just the food bank, it's just wee things to just help people. It's, it's just amazing. And tell me about the 12th man on the pitch tonight, uh, the good old Kilmarnock pie. Um, you know, we, we, we heard them called earlier on to the championship winning pies. Are they going to be Scottish Cup winning pies, do you think? Well, here's hoping. <laughs> Fingers crossed. It would really please the, the pie man. And I mean, everybody, everybody loves them, so... And, it's not just the Kilmarnock pie, they've got the Scotch pie as well and he's got curry pies on some games as well. So no, it's everybody always comes in and asks for uh, a curry pie. Even quieter games at the weekend, it's always, oh, can I get a pie, can I get a pie? So no, they are. And he's had an influx of orders as well from just from the BBC coverage and all the other news coverages just for the game as well. So it's been good for John and good for the team as well because we're associated with the, the Kilmarnock pie, so, so it is good. It is and good. tell me, um, you know, quarter, quarter round cup draw coming up, we heard there from the studio, it could be Celtic, it could be Rangers. Go on, give us your, give us your dream um, fixture for the quarterfinals. Well, either Celtic or Rangers, it'd be amazing for the boys to get a big draw like that, and even just for the the club itself to get a big draw. And so we'll see, we'll see if I have a half five tonight who we get, but we'll take anybody. <laughs> That's brilliant. Well, thanks very much, Jordan. Best of luck tonight, um, and we'll see whether David will will kill Goliath yet again.